duofluorescent AO EB assay for cell concentration and viability. This assay is most suitable for primary cell samples such as white blood cells, splenocytes, and lymphocytes, which contain debris and unwanted non-nucleated cell types such as red blood cells. Acridine orange and ethidium bromide are nucleic acid binding dyes. They produce strong fluorescence after binding to DNA. AO is permeable to both live and dead cells. EB is only permeable to dead cells. Cells are mixed with both acridine orange and ethidium bromide. Channel 1 of the salometer is configured with an optical module with blue excitation and green emission. For live cell, AO enters the cell membrane and binds to its DNA. Under blue excitation, strong green fluorescence is emitted and detected. EB is excluded from a live cell. Both AO and EB enter a dead cell through the damaged cell membrane and bind to its DNA. Under blue excitation, the green fluorescence by AO is absorbed by EB, producing an extremely weak green signal. Channel 2 of the salometer has a green excitation to detect red emission. Live cells exclude EB. Without its DNA binding, there is no detectable red light from live cells. For a dead cell, EB enters the damaged cell membrane and binds to its DNA, producing a very strong red fluorescence. To perform a salometer AO-EB assay, load stained cells into a counting chamber. Insert the chamber into salometer. Salometer automatically performs cell image acquisition and imaging analysis. Typical assay time is less than 60 seconds. Salometer can also perform many other duofluorescent viability assays. Explore our website at nexalom.com for more information.